Day one of lifting this two and a half ton car with nothing but eggs. If you quickly Google the strength of an egg, one of the first answers is a vertical max load of 53 pounds performed in a lab with the best possible conditions. But we're not in a lab, so I doubt we're going to see that kind of strength. The hardest part so far with testing is balancing the load on the egg and distributing the force evenly across the top and bottom arch. Just the slightest edge will crack the egg, which is why I'm going to include foam in my next test. Today's test resulted in a max load of 20 pounds. Day two of lifting this car with nothing but eggs. I think it was kind of obvious on day one that we weren't going to be able to hold up a 2,500 pound car with a single egg, and instead we're going to need a lot more. So I created another bracket to hold four eggs instead. I added a couple stoppers to limit the travel. We then started off with two bricks weighing 68 pounds total, but then one of the eggs was like, <laughs> we then replaced the quitter and loaded up three bricks instead with a total of 102 pounds, which means that we now have a high score of 25.5 pounds per egg. Today is day three of lifting a 2,500 pound car off the ground with nothing but store-bought chicken eggs. I needed a better way to hold a large quantity of eggs upright, so I 3D printed two trays with half-inch EVA foam and used bolts and tubing for guides. From previous tests, we know that each egg can handle loads of 20 to 25 pounds, meaning that these 25 eggs should easily handle 500 to 625 pounds. I was running out of weight, so I grabbed Remy and Ali. The additional 12 pounds and 22 pounds didn't make a dent, so I grabbed my wife. I don't think I've done a squat a day in my life, so I just crawled on her back and flailed around, but most importantly, my legs aren't touching the ground. Even then, that wasn't enough, so we combined all three, grabbed the dogs totaling 491 pounds, or 19.64 pounds per egg. I know the eggs can handle a lot more weight, so I'm going to buy more blocks and brainstorm some fixtures. Even though some of the eggs are taller than others, the foam helps even that out and distribute the force. None of the eggs cracked under the load, so they go back in the car for safekeeping. Today is day four of lifting this car with nothing but eggs, and I've got something to show you. From previous tests, we've seen that a single egg can withstand vertical loads of 20 to 25 pounds, which means that these 45 eggs can easily hold 900 to 1100 pounds. I have faith in the eggs, which is why I'm going to pull both jack stands. The other one's been taken out as well to show to you that those 45 eggs are truly supporting the back half of this car. Because this vehicle is a front-wheel drive automatic and it weighs 2,500 pounds, we can estimate that about 60% of the vehicle's weight is in the front and 40% is in the rear, meaning that when I lift this car off the ground, I'm going to need to have more eggs in the front than I do in the rear. Pull this out. At this point, it is quicker and cheaper to build a 9x5 press out of foam and plywood than it is the 3 to print a 5x5, so I'm going to make three more of these presses and we're going to lift a car on day five. Today is day five of lifting a car with store-bought chicken eggs and it did not go well. If you're wondering what happened, those scissor jacks toppled over. The idea was to have 45 eggs in the front right, 45 eggs in the front left, 16 in the rear or 30 on both sides, and that 150 eggs should have been more than enough to lift this 2,500 pound car. And where I messed up is that when I was lowering the car so that these tires can make contact with the egg presses, I had this side of the car way too low and the other side way too high, which resulted in the center of gravity changing for the car and the whole thing just kind of sliding off the jack stands and just hitting the ground. Today is day six of lifting a 2,500 pound car with nothing but store-bought chicken eggs, and it's the last day in the series because... We plan to only use 144 eggs, but increase it to 180 to account for bad eggs and uneven weight distribution. Now to prove that this car truly is supported, I'm going to go ahead and remove each jack seat. Now the risk is fairly minimal at this point because if the eggs were to fail, the wheel would fall basically about two inches onto that foam and the car would still be supported on each of its four wheels. There are a lot of factors that play into this, but there are two primary reasons as to why this works. One, eggs are crazy strong, and that has to do with their naturally occurring three-dimensional arch that dissipates a force outwards in compression. The other reason why this works is that pressure is equal to force divided by area, and if you increase the surface area, then you're going to have less pressure, which means teamwork makes the dream work. I am so sick of eating eggs, which is why we're going to donate the remaining 200 eggs to a local food bank.